think is the chair intelligent enough to understand how you sit and adjust itself intuitively. The height of your seat adjusts to maximize comfort and provide the proper relationship to your work surface and work tools. To raise the seat, lift your weight from the chair and pull the lever up. To lower the seat, remain seated and pull the lever up. The proper positioning is when your feet are flat on the floor, your thighs are parallel to the floor, and your forearms are parallel to your work surface. Adjustable seat depths accommodate different leg lengths to reduce pressure behind the knees and provide better lower back and leg support. Release your weight from the chair, then lift the bar under the seat and hold it up as you slide the seat forward or back. It's adjusted properly when you sit with your lower back against the backrest and there's two to three inches of space between a seat edge and the back of your knees. The chair has a flexible seat edge that automatically flexes to relieve pressure on the back of your thighs as you move in your chair. While sitting, your arms should rest naturally from the shoulders to reduce strain on your shoulders and pressure on your spine. To adjust the arm height, squeeze the button, lift or lower the armrest, then release the button. Arm width pivot and depth are adjusted by grasping the arm caps and pushing in or out, forward or back, and side to side. The proper positioning is when you can sit with your arms at your side with your forearms parallel to the ground without your shoulders being hunched. Your chair has one simple control to adjust both the back tension and back recline. As you turn the dial, it will click each setting. 1. Upright back lock. 2. Mid recline stop. 3. Weight activated plus 20% boost in resistance. 4. Regular weight activated setting. The sliding lumbar support provides additional support to your lower back muscles. Grasp the small handles, lean forward slightly, and slide the handles up or down. It's adjusted properly when it fits into the small of your back and feels most comfortable to you. If you do not wish to engage the lumbar support, slide all the way down to the neutral position. It's important to adjust your chair. We recommend you take full advantage of the features to maximize your comfort level while you work.